Okay, B15 number 9, solve by factoring. 3x squared plus 4x equals 4. First thing I need to do is make sure that's equal to 0. In other words, I've got to subtract 4 from both sides in order to set my um, equation equal to 0. Okay, I always want to do that first. Subtract 4, and that goes away there. I have my 0 on the right hand side, but be careful, you can't subtract 4 from either of those terms because they're not like terms, right? So you just have to write it. like that, and then from there I need to factor this. Okay, so the question is, how do I factor that thing? Well, I look for my greatest common factor, which there is none, and then I say, ask myself, is that difference of squares? It's not, because there's an x term. So then typically if it's going to factor, I got an x squared, x number term, quadratic, polynomial, and it's going to factor by what we're doing in the AC map. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, multiply negative 3 times negative 4, a times c, I get negative 12, and I look at my b term, negative 4, right? So I need two numbers to multiply together to give me that, and add together to give me that. It's multiply to negative 12, and add together to give me negative 4. Uh, in order to do that, I can look at my factors of 12, 12 and 1. I know each has to be negative, so one of these would have to be negative when I multiply to get that. Negative 12, and 1 wouldn't give me negative 4, 12, negative 1 wouldn't give me negative 4, so those two are out. Uh, what's next? 2 will go in. So 6 and 2, so this one I think will work. I'm going to have to say, well, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Okay, but if I add those together, it won't be negative 4, right? It would be positive 4. So if I adjust my sign, I get negative 6 and 2. And I can stop there. You also have 3 and 4, but I found them with negative 6 and 2. So the next step is to rewrite my 3 terms as 4 terms. So 3x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus 4 equals 0. Okay, remember the goal of that AC method is really just to, to rewrite that negative, or the x term rather, as 2x terms. And then I can factor by grouping. So I'm going to split it up there, create a common factor would be a 3x, factor that up, x minus 2. Over here, greatest common factor would be 2, positive 2. If I factor that out, I get an x minus 2. And I see I've, I've done it correctly. I have the same thing here and here, x minus 2. So if I pull that out, my final factorization is x minus 2, and 3x plus 2 equals 0. And that's all our right? That is the factoring is done. Now I set each of these to 0 using that zero product principle. And get my two solutions. If x minus 2 is 0, then x, of course, would be 2. There's one solution. And over here, two steps of algebra to solve. Subtract 2 first. Whoops. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And divide by 3. And then there's my solution x equals negative 2 thirds, 2 and negative 2 thirds, okay? That's a long one again, most of the work with these in this chapter to solve by factoring, most of the work is the factoring, right? All of this is the factoring which we've done before and then from here down it's the simple step of solving two linear equations, okay? So keep doing your homework, remember you got to do your homework in order to pass this course.